Hey YouTube, Kenny here, also known as Silent Fan 85. Bit of a combination between a gamer log and a YouTuber log. Um, recently in a video, one of the tips and tricks videos I did, actually not more than 15 minutes ago, um, I showed uh, how many videos I've uploaded. This was over 1,400, and um, in recent months, I've made some changes to my channel, um, showing me subscribers I have. At first, I didn't do that uh, because I felt that, as a content creator, um, I wanted you—I wanted you to like me for my content, not my numbers. But something that has changed that is the realization that YouTubing has become a part of my life. Becoming a content creator is becoming a part of my life. Even though it's a hobby, um, it's still become a weekly routine. Sometimes even a daily routine. Um, I'll go two, three days without recording anything. And then I'll go two, three days with recording 10 or 12 videos. It can, it can be nuts. Um, so, you know, that's one thing, that's one thing I wanted to touch on, um, channel, my channel, specifically, one, one of the, one of the rules of you, YouTubing that I think a lot of people have talked about is consistency, um, making sure you stick to what you're strong at, what your audience likes, and I break away from that a lot uh, because I like for my channel to reflect who I am um, and who I am as a human being and being a human being you have ups and downs <laughs> it sounds weird to say but um, no the, the thing is my, my channel can be kind of here and there as I put it in my tips and tricks video, um, and I think I think I can get away with that with it being a hobby. Again, it's not a money maker, um, at least not yet. But you know, who know, who knows what the future will hold. At the source of it, I just like creating. I like throwing my ideas out there. I like sharing stuff. Um, always have. It's always been a, my type of personality. I'm outgoing. Um, and in a way, YouTube has helped me because there was a point in my life before I started YouTubing that I was becoming more introverted, more withdrawn, and shut off. But then I was like, well, listen, you're having a little bit of trouble going out in public, so why don't you use the internet to your advantage and do YouTube videos? And it was scary. It was scary because... You know, you're up on the internet. You're 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 up on this massive worldwide um, technology that has changed the world. It's changed television. It's changed the movie industry. It's changed life as we know it. And um, so, you know, with with that, you kind of become this person that people will either randomly find out about. Or they'll find out about you through a certain topic, which in my case is gaming. They'll search you up on YouTube, and um, it you know so that's daunting. It's just like why, why would you do that? Well, and like I said before, it's helped me. It's helped me kind of re reacquire uh, who I am by nature. Uh, this outgoing guy who. Likes to likes to talk, likes to share his opinion, likes to share his adventures in Azeroth or um, you know Final Fantasy or Hearthstone or newly acquired Spin Tires, uh, Wonderland, you know, so on and so forth. And um, so essentially, what it's what it's what it's happened is the two major two major parts of my life, gaming and YouTube, come into one. So it made sense because when I first started YouTube, I was just a vlogger. Um, I talked about life in general, um, 
stuff in my life, but then something happened where I kind of, I kind of got a little too personal. And then I got married, and now I have this other person in my life where making videos is going to affect um, that marriage, that relationship. So I kind of withdrew from that a good bit. Actually, I still vlog on my other channel, Kenny. Um, and I still do it here so often, but, um, so that's why I turned Silent Fan 85, my persona, um, which is me, so it's not really a persona per se, but, uh, into a gaming channel more than anything else. And then from there, I use it as a, like a testing ground, you know, if somebody likes something, oh, okay, put it up on another channel. Because some people, some people want to purely see that. You know, they don't, they don't want to always just see the gaming channels. Um, kind of like the fun, the recently fun with Doge Megal um, videos. I think that, that, you know, people seem to like that. They seem to like it a lot. I've gotten a lot of compliments about it. So I'm going to do another series here uh, in the next week or two. I'll throw that up, see how that does. And if it takes off, I'll probably go ahead and start a channel. Uh around that so it's, it's exactly what happened with dc flicks uh, my other channel um dedicated to dc news and other nerdy news as i put it um i did a batman vs superman trailer review and people really latched onto it people really liked it in fact it's my second most viewed video here on the channel i think it's currently got close to 45 50 thousand views it's crazy. I, I didn't. I didn't expect it. It was just. It was one of those things. It was. Um, I was just talking about what I like, and um, and people respond to that. Re respond to that. So you know, I created DC Flicks to do that. But one other thing I wanted to get to. Um, does being a YouTuber make you famous? Well, again, lightning in a bottle. Um, a lot of people would argue that it's it's. It's about marketing. It's about getting your name out there. It's about you know, spending money, investing hundreds of thousands of dollars in in equipment so you look good on camera and all this. Essentially, you know, you're creating a TV show or a small movie or whatnot. Um, but for the layman, like me, and the poor man, like me, um, to become famous from that, again, is lightning in a bottle. I use that term a lot whenever I talk about YouTube and videos. Uh, everybody tends to have a breakout at some point. They they find a niche that they're good at, or they find a title that really you know skyrockets their numbers. And um, but I, I think when you're a YouTuber, you like attention. You like who you are deep down uh, that may come into question sometime but you like you like what you put out into the world and you think it's worth people watching people taking time out of their day to watch um, and that's why people subscribe to you because you know they like what they see they like the content um, so you know I think that's what it's all about so does being a youtuber mean you're famous it, depending on your definition of being famous in a way, you're famous to people that know you. Like, if you were to encounter a YouTuber in real life, it's probably just like being a D or C list celebrity, um, in a way, because you're just like, oh, hey, you're, holy cow. That, you know, that's happened to me once since I've been a YouTuber. Um, I had somebody say locally um, that they found out about a game that they liked. And they bought it because they saw my video. And, um, you know, that, that felt good. It felt really good. So, in a way, you kind of get that um, sense of that kind of life. kind of gives you a taste of um, people liking what you do. But uh, in the end, I think being famous is just, depending again, depending on the channel, for me, it would just be a side effect. Uh, or not a side effect, but um, just a, I'm not sure how to put it. <laughs> it would just be something that happens because 
of the channel I've created. But, and, and again, I'm not looking to become famous. I just like making videos. I like I like being myself on a video and letting uh, letting you folks watch it. Now, think back to the days of uh, TV and television. Back then, it was so you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't get your face up on a screen without approval from some sort of station, without getting your foot in the door. But nowadays, all you need is a webcam and people that want to watch or listen. Or friends that want to see how you're doing, you know, and um, you know it's if it wasn't YouTube, it would have been another service. YouTube simplified it. YouTube made it easier. Um, YouTube was kind of the first to say, "Hey, show yourself off to the world," and you know that's where obviously YouTuber YouTubing um, comes from. So, but just imagine, you know, think back to. It, it kind of makes you wonder how A-list actors might feel uh, when it comes to these people that get famous off just uploading videos. But it, it might make some of them mad, but at the same time, some of them might say, hey, good for you. You know, I, I strived a lot to get where I am, but you're obviously working hard, you're doing what you enjoy, and it's, uh, I think it's good. It's a good thing. So that's just a little comparison about to like you know mainstream Hollywood and getting famous off YouTube. It's it's essentially somebody uploading videos. Again, lightning in a bottle, something takes off somewhere. People like what they see. Numbers start going up. And that's essentially how it works, for the most part. But again, with me doing it as a hobby, it allows me um, to do the way that I want to do it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This was just kind of a ramble vlog um, for the most part. But, you know, just covering how my channel started, where it's at, where it's going, why I do it. Um, I do it every so often just to keep my new subscribers up to date uh, about stuff like that. So, again, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Remember, you are an awesome person. Never let the world tell you otherwise, especially if you're looking to get into YouTubing and put your face out on the internet. Um, it can be therapeutic. See ya.